And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey everybody, I'm Tom Vassell, and today we're taking a look at Mini Miners, which for the longest time I thought was Minor Miners because of this weirdly placed rubble there, making that look like an R instead of an I. Eh, not a big deal. Minor Miners would be funny. It's about a bunch of kids who are being forced to mine and are getting out. Uh, but instead, these are Mini Miners, which also doesn't make sense because the game's not mini. Is it because they're dwarves? I, I don't get the name of the title. I think they just thought it would be funny. Anyway, this is kind of a push your luck game, sort of. It's also a drafting game, sort of. It's about collecting gold. Yeah, that, that, that one's not sort of. That was definitely what the game's about. Let me show you. At the beginning of the game, you're going to seed the board with some tokens, which are going to kind of modify the different rooms here. There's rooms in different levels. There's even some alcoves that are going to be here in the mine. You're going to be using each round 16 of 18 different dwarf cards, shuffling those, and giving cards to each person. You're going to be drafting four cards. And what you're going to do is you're going to pick one of these cards, keep it past the, the three remaining to the next player, pick one, keep it, until players have a bunch of dwarves. Then you're going to call the dwarves out, starting with number one and going all the way up to the end. And as a player is called, they're going to pick where in here they're going to place their dwarf until all the dwarves are placed. Now, before placing the dwarves, players will have a chance to buy equipment here. Equipment can do various things. You can, uh, you're going to be using your gold nuggets. You'll start the game with some and you'll get more as the game goes by. You might even get some of these diamonds which are worth seven gold nuggets. Anyhow, you can spend those to buy equipment. Like this lamp will let you go to an alcove. Normally you would not be able to go to an alcove, uh, but that's a special way to get in there. Once everyone's in, we start from the top level and whoever's there is going to decide what they're going to do. Usually you'll dig, drawing a card from the level that's there and seeing how many gold nuggets you get. So on level one, you can see there's few gold nuggets. There's also the chance that you'll have a collapse happen. There's one of those in there. If that happens, you're removed from the board. And boom, a collapse token's there. In fact, that means nobody else can get out unless they have the way to get by it. And there's various tools that will let you get by that. Um, this lets you blow up uh, one here with the dynamite here, but you can get rid of one with a shovel. And so there's just different ways you can deal with these with the different types of equipment. Because if the first person draws one, everyone else is in trouble. In deck two, you'll see that there's more things you can get, but there's also two collapsed down there. All the way down to level four, where there's a ton of gold in the bottom, but there's also the most collapsed cards down there. And if you're in a spot with an alcove, you can just take what's written on the board, like here a diamond. These tokens themselves are going to change things, and then the dwarves themselves. So for example, number two, after a dwarf reveals a tool card, you can cancel their tool effect. This guy here, you can target him, give him a nugget, then pick a tool and he can steal a tool from someone or buy it from them. Here, Brewer, he can just be put in the inn instead of the mine. And then you just get one gold nugget for every two inns that make it out of the thing alive. If this guy gets out, you get an extra two. When you mine with him, you can draw from any pile instead of the pile instead of the place he's in. So each of these guys has their own special ability. So what you're doing is you're looking at the special ability, looking at the level they're in, that's the pile you draw from, look at the equipment they have, and look at the token that's there. You'll go through them until everyone has taken their turn. Uh, there's other things can happen. A dwarf can sacrifice himself to get rid of one of these uh, so other people can get out. And once it's out, you take all the dwarves back, shuffle them up, pull everything out, restart the whole round after three rounds. Whoever has the most gold nuggets is the winner of the game. The components for the game are fine. All the cards are really good quality. My biggest complaint about this is that it's just not intuitive always what everything does. There is a help sheet here that explains all of it, but there is a lot going on. Every single dwarf has a different special ability. There are 18 different special abilities combined with the different tunnels. You can even play with event cards, add even more to it, plus the tokens. So there's kind of this overwhelming amount of knowledge. They even have these here, just so you know, what each of the dwarves are in the game, but 
I don't know that that's that big of a deal to use those. The gold nuggets and the diamonds are kind of cool. I like those. I like how these are actually gold, not just yellow. And the board itself is really good art. And everything fits in a nice little plastic insert. Okay, so mini miners, the idea of it is pretty good. Draft some cards, take these people, put them in the mines, then go through it. The deeper you put them, the more gold you can find, but the bigger chance that there's something will collapse, the higher you go. What special effects will you take? What's on the thing? And I like the concept, but here's the main problem with this game. At its heart, it's a simple game. Take dwarves, draft them, put them out, maybe get gold. But then there's so much complexity. I need to check the special ability of the dwarf, plus the abilities of the equipment that they have, plus the abilities of the equipment the other dwarves may have around there, and people that may affect me, plus those tokens I put on at the beginning. I don't know why that part's in the game. Those tokens there is crazy. The game was already complex enough. Adding a token in every spot not only made the board messy, but just problematic. And at the end of the day, I, I wanted to like it, and I feel like I kind of liked it, but it also, it just, it's so, so much stuff. I'm just constantly saying, what do they all do? I would end up taking the guy who can go to the tavern just because, like, well, I know I'm getting some money there. Not to mention the decks are extremely lucky. You might draw and have a collapse. And then the next person doesn't have any tools to get out. And so it's kind of like, well, nope, 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 nope. Okay, this guy gets out. Sometimes we play where a bunch of dwarves get out. Sometimes we play where only a few get out. The whole sacrifice yourself isn't very interesting to you if, uh, if you're going to let everyone else dwarves get out. So why should you do it? It's too problematic. Good quality components and an interesting idea. But one of the things here should have been streamlined out. The ability on the dwarves works. I don't know that they should have taken that part out. The tools should have said on them what they do. I don't know. The whole thing just felt like a lot of things moving parts for what's a very basic game. Ink and Gold does the same thing. Run in, get gold, get out. This was like, well, let's have different levels with different cards on them. Let's have tools that let you go against these things. And it's just not super intuitive either. So I wanted to like it. I don't think I even dislike it necessarily. It's just that I don't know that I want to work this hard for a simple game. I'll work hard in some games because it's like, ooh, I'm putting a lot of mental ability into this to get something out. Here it's like, oh, is there something, I wanna play something along this level? I wanna play something that's just nice and easy. It's unfortunate, but again, this might appeal to some people. Some people may say, you'll probably see some in the comments below, they'll go, it's not nearly as complex as he's making it sound to be. Maybe that's true. And again, I don't think the game itself is complex. I understood it. It's just that here we have a 16-page rule book for a game that's literally just a few things. But they have to explain what all the tools do, how the event cards work, what do each of the guys do, how they interact with each other. Hmm, not for me. Mini Miners. I'm Tom Vassell. We'll see you next time. Dice Tower Judgment, a combination of luck and complication that I'm not really interested in.